Today I'm going to share with you how to get the first users for your marketplace and what I'm doing in my startup journey. Hey guys, this is Broke to Beast where we make videos about starting your own business online or offline as well as follow along my own journey. Before we start, if you like entrepreneurship and business content, make sure you go down below and subscribe because we post videos every day about how to achieve your success. So there's this book I read which is called Traction and it lets you identify the best marketing tactics in order to start growing your startup and to get users. The thing is, a lot of those marketing tactics can be very valuable. However, after reading some articles on how to get your first users, I realized that I was trying to avoid the hard work and trying to focus on marketing channels that would not bring me the people that I wanted the most, the early adopters for my marketplace, especially in my marketplace, because I'll explain my situation in a, in a couple minutes. So after reading a couple of tips on a few articles, I realized that I should be focusing on things that can actually scale to the next level. Then probably in the future I won't use because I'll have a momentum in the marketplace but I can use now to get my first initial users. So what I decided is to create two lists. Each list was a different type of user for my marketplace. What, for example, the buyers and sellers. Since my platform is an influencer marketing platform, I had the influencers and the brands that I would have to attract. So what I decided is to start adding brands and influencers in each of their lists and as many as possible and start contacting contact and start contacting them by email with personalized emails now this took a lot of work because i had to search all day and every day for all kinds of people influencers and brands especially brands because i had to personalize the emails even more and what i mean by personalization is simply adding a dear and then name and i will substitute that name for the person's name the influencer's name and in the case of the brands, I would have a couple of other things that I would add, such as the company name. Anyways, after doing that, I started getting some positive responses, especially from the influencers. Obviously, when you're starting to sell to when you start to sell something new, you have to understand what responses you're gonna get from the brands, and you have to always optimize your emails and to make sure you get the best conversion rates and the best response rates to be able to sell to more people, right? So I was really surprised that the influencers were all really enthusiastic to be a part of the, the launch that we plan to do in a couple weeks. Uh, regarding the brands, they were asking questions and I'm currently trying to get uh, a sale and I'm praying that maybe in this week I'll be able to do that. And if I still can't get it, I'll just keep emailing as, until somebody says yes or I'll just change my messaging. So the tip is, sometimes it's best to focus on things that actually don't scale and just hustle for those first sales or those first users for your platform or even if simply it's simply an application. If you just talk to people directly through email or whatever platform you want, you're more likely to be seen as more human. Anyways, regarding my startup, that's what's going on with my new startup. I did change my model from my previous vlog that you you might have seen it and which was a gift group gifting platform but now I've changed it to an influencer marketing platform because it's actually something for two reasons the first one is I was building something that was a vitamin and not a problem for people which meant in the upcoming reception the recession that is most likely to to occur in a few years um, I'll probably get drowned out and be broke again so and for the second reason, and the second reason was that I actually didn't understand very well the market. Even though I've done group gifting before, I'm not. I wasn't. I'm not really into that kind of atmosphere of group gifting or gifting in general because I'm broke, so I can't give people money or presents for that matter. Anyways, that's why I decided to switch to this new influencer marketing platform because it's something I know personally and that I could maybe give a provide a better product into the market and give real value to people. Anyways, I hope these tips <laughs> I hope these tips helped you out 
And make sure you go down below and subscribe and leave a like if you like the content. And I'll keep posting uh, some videos on entrepreneurship and my journey in startup and some lessons I've learned. And if you have your own journey that you want to share with other people, make sure you go in the comments and share it so we can talk about it and see what kind of struggles you have and you know, try to relate to each other and stuff. Take care and peace.